Hello, my lovely fellow Pisceans. I hope this reading finds you all well and travelling well through your past months. I would like to thank you so much for all your comments and your support. Fellow Pisceans, what can I say? Thank you very, very much. If you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any, uh, any videos that I post. Also the notification bell, which will let you know when I am posting new videos. This is a general reading for you, my lovely Pisceans. It's a reading for Pisces Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your rising sign and moon sign because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. Also adds layers to your reading and a little bit more depth and understanding. If you would like a private reading with me, a personal reading, you can go to my website, follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there which is going to be specific to you and your journey. <clears throat> so let's get started my lovely Pisceans and let's see you know generally I just feel really upbeat I just feel really positive about the energy that's coming through and the potential that that wave of energy holds for you my lovely Pisceans it is your free will it is up to you how you perceive it <clears throat> how you respond to it or not how you um, work with that energy you're an intuitive being and so it really is important that you follow your intuition as to where it leads you I want to say to those Pisceans that are <clears throat> heavily influenced by others by out external forces it's really a time of going within and of reflecting really a time of drawing on your own resources and your own guidance your own guidance your own guiding star you know your body your your you know when you're making a decision your body talks to you you know that you do get signs and it's about really being aware of those to help you on your journey <clears throat> in order to do that it's about taking my guides are coming through that always plays with my voice <clears throat> it's about <clears throat> taking time out of your every day taking time out of that routine to find that time where you can balance yourself when you find peace when you find here goes my voice they're coming through <clears throat> excuse me, when you find vo your voice, when you find what you're wanting and your direction, you're really needing to take that time for yourself. Some of you have already done that. Some of you have got that underway. <clears throat> Having that self-belief I'm hearing for you, my lovely Pisceans, so that you can ride that crest of the wave. There is change coming. There is big change coming 2020 is going to see the start of that <clears throat> and the wave that you've been on the energy that you've been on my lovely Pisceans that change has been coming from you know let's go back to you know 2000 and some of you as far as 2012 14 16 it's just this change that's this wave that you're on and it's riding that crest this is the this is the final sort of part that's going to take you into 2020 this this has been a chain a year of change for many of you and for some of you it's physical changes around you for some of you it's internal changes it's shifts of the psyche shifts of where you are uh, <clears throat> that has brought that change about changes within you and what you're expecting it's really interesting <clears throat> my guides have really come through really strongly with that <clears throat> you're going to be affected by that varying degree some of you are really going to feel it and others it's going to be more subtle but you're all going to feel it you're all going to feel it it depends on where you are on your timeline 
how old you are and, and what journey you're still needing to be on. <clears throat> But things, I'm, I'm hearing that things are going to start making sense to you. Everything that you've gone through, everything you've experienced, it's going to come to a point where it's going to start making sense. You're going to have that aha moment. Well, I understand that. I understand the role that that situation played for me to get me to where I'm going. Really, it's, it's a really strong energy around you. So that's all been happening behind the scenes with you, my lovely Pisceans. Let's see what November holds for you. <clears throat> really interesting. You know, the main card here I've got is the, the, the King of Cups, and that's male or female. <clears throat> that's you. What represents you? This is you being in a position of really understanding more deeply what you're about and what journey you're on and what is unfolding for you and not being overcome by emotions not being overcome by um, that need to nurture others it's it's about really nurturing the self and you've really come November you're really going to understand that there's going to be this questioning of where am I going? What do I want? What do I need to nurture myself to, to bring about my self-growth? That's what that's about. It's about being in control of your emotions. So for those of you that have undergone some sort of emotional upheaval, a partner that's left, a relationship that hasn't worked out, some, some crumbling of relationships around you, you're going to understand that more as in November. It, there's going to be this clarity for you and you're going to be able to be this observer, this, this neutral observer of sitting back and, and looking at these emotional things that have been going on around you and having some sort of reason behind it, understanding the reason behind it, understanding your own strength. There is strength and there's power in love, in compassion. And you learn that, you, you begin to understand that. And that sees you taking this journey, taking this journey um, out of difficulty. That, that creates this passage out of how you've been thinking, how you've been programmed, what others expect of you, um, and, and having this passage away from that, this passage away from troubled waters. And for that, some of you, it's, it's troubled emotions on a personal level within you that is going to settle. There's, there's someone that's supporting you through this. For many of you, I feel like it's, it's guides, it's it's spirit, it's source, it's the divine, it's what God, it's whatever it is for you is coming through to shine that light, to give you that support. You're just going to feel like there's this relief and there is this passage out of difficult times with you having learnt a lot in, from those experiences, learnt a great deal about you, about others and the role that they played in this development of the self, the, the development of you. So I feel like there's real strength coming around here for you um, and a real depth of understanding, which I really, really, really like, which I really like. It's, you know, I want to say, it, you know, this passage, it, it's also about understanding what your role is, understanding what your purpose is, having the courage to step out and fulfill it, step out and fulfill it and do what you're meant to be doing, what brings you joy, having the courage to deviate from the everyday to bring in these changes. And that brings in for you prosperity. That brings in the rewards that come with that, the, the you know, my guides are cheering, the spirit's cheering here. It's about when you are on the right path, everything else is going to fall into place and that abundance, that financial reward, that prosperity is going to start coming through for you. There's that inner peace, that inner balance, okay? What's 
the foundation of that, what's underwriting that, there's this king of wands, which is male or female, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person that's around you. That is the foundation. That is a support there for you. They've taught you a lot. They are, that's the foundation of what's bringing in this change for many of you. For some of you, this person is a person of support that's teaching you how to find that fire in your belly, how to really work, um, progress for yourself rather than dispersing your energy and giving it out to others all the time. It's about calling it in and and, and having this self-exploration. Self so they're a really strong support around you. For others of you, it's about finding your purpose, which puts that fire in your belly. Wands is about fire. It's about passion. It's about creativity. It's about enthusiasm. It's about energy. It's about action. And so this, this is something that this change brings about in you. It's really about you're unstoppable in November. Once you find where you're needing to be and how you're needing to use that energy that you've got, you're going to be unstoppable, which I really like. And that brings in success for you. It brings in tremendous success, which I really like. You know, looking at overall in your reading, there's a lot of there's a lot of kings and queens here, and that's that's powerful. That's powerful, but it's also you know in that royalty of the suits, you've got strength and confidence and control over what's unfolding here for you. So I feel like you're setting the scene. You are setting the scene for 2020. How what lifestyle changes are you wanting to bring in? What, are you, what changes are you wanting to bring in for you that's going to feed the soul, feed the spirit? I feel like, you know, you like this flower that needs to be watered so that you can grow. Self-nurturing and growth. I really like that. Because what you've also got here, you've got the tower. But because you've got such positive cards and they're quite powerful cards, the tower to me is simply... This very easy falling away of what is no longer necessary in your life, what doesn't suit you in your life, what isn't working for you in your life, what's holding you back in your life, is it behaviours, attitudes, people, um, what isn't serving you, a job, a location, a lifestyle, um, diet, I feel like for many of you too, um, what what needs, to, what needs to be reviewed? What needs to be reviewed and what needs to be changed? And I feel like this is a, a tower. It's not, this isn't, for some of you, it's external forces that are bringing in this change where you think, oh, here we go again. But there, it's, there's actually positive outcomes here. It's like you're awakening. You're being gently nudged into an awakening. For some of you, this is, this is something that you're working towards. You've taken the responsibility. You've taken this into your own hands. And so you control the changes that are coming in and the changes you're bringing into your life. So I really like that. I don't feel like it's this big destructive tower that has these external forces coming in and blowing everything up for you to bring in the change that's needed. I feel like this is gently, gently, and it's you having control of, It's I see it as you having this ledger and it's, you know, what you want, what you don't want. You've got these two sides of the ledger and you're looking through it and going, OK, well, I can get rid of that and I can get rid of that. And I, can, I don't no longer need that, but I'll keep that. So it's this review time for you. It's this time of shaking up what's around you and what you're no longer needing in your life. Um, in order for you to move on. You're lightening your load. You're getting rid of the baggage. You're not carrying with you all the baggage from the past. You're leaving that in the past and shutting that door. This is happening for you in November. So November's going to be quite an interesting month for you. It's going to be an interesting month for everyone, but this is really... Um, you know, so we're moving on to, you know, this is this is happening in November, in the beginning of November. I feel like it's... And for some of you, it's already happened. You know, timing's different. Depends on your birth chart. But um, I also... The next, where we're moving to as November progresses, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. I like the Nine of Pentacles. Um, this is, you know, I, for me, this card is really connected quite strongly to the Empress. 
where you're creating your future. The Nine of Pentacles is, well, this is where you're headed. This, this is going to start showing up for you in November. The uh, cre what you're creating. This is creating your own re your reality. What reality do you want? And you're going to start seeing results in this. You're going to start seeing changes in it. What are you seeking? Are you seeking um, romance? Are you seeking that soulmate? Are you seeking financial um, abundance? Are you seeking you know having being surrounded by things that are beautiful to you, that are bringing you peace, that, that you're really enjoying. Um, it's going to be different for all of you or is it going to be the whole lot? And why not the whole lot? Why not? Why limit yourself? Why, why not look at every aspect of your life and, and bringing in that improvement? That happens with the shift and changes within you. It's not something that happens externally when I get this or when this happens or when I get the ideal job or when I get the ideal relationship or, you know, when, when, when. It's not externals. My lovely Pisceans, for you, it's about creating that shift internally and bringing in those changes internally and then it starts to reflect out into your reality. And by the third week of November, you're going to start seeing that those changes coming in. There's going to be people that are going to say something or people you're going to meet that are going to connect the dots for you. Um, and it's about you grabbing that opportunity with both hands and doing something with it. Being aware of the synchronicities, being aware of the signs that you're being given. For some of you, it's in your dreams. For some of you, it's this internal knowing. For some of you, it's someone that's said something or brought an opportunity to you. Uh, and it's about knowing whether or not to take that. You're going to have opportunities come your way in November. And it's about making decisions quickly, make, knowing whether or not you want to do that. So you know, to do that work in the initial month, the beginning of the month, you need you need to do that to, in order for you to know whether or not you want to take on these new opportunities that are going to bring you a lot of success, that are going to bring you a lot of gratification, that are going to bring into your reality what you've been seeking. This sense of fulfillment for you, my lovely Pisceans. That's really lovely. That's really lovely. And then, of course, we've got the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups, of course, is male or female, like the King of Cups. Um, and I feel like for some of you, this is you. This is you taking responsibility for what's going on in your reality, for what's going on around you in your environment. It's it's like you, it's all coming out from, you've got to, you need to understand, it's coming from you. It's coming from you. That raising of vibration is coming from you and, and permeating out what change and having the courage to take those changes and do something with them. And that's free will. You can choose, well, you know, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to bring change in. I'm going to stay where I am. And that's okay too. That's okay too. But the opportunity for that is there. So if there's something new that you want to do, something new that you want to launch, um, something, a new project, a new business, a new venture, um, a new hobby, a new lifestyle, a new job, whatever it is, um, it's, it's, time then to do that and of course it's about using your intuition it's about using your intuition it's about listening to your body uh, when you're making choices and decisions your body will tell you you'll get the signals you'll get the signals um, and it's about reading that it's about reading that and it's also about self-nurturing it's about self-nurturing and it's about Centering yourself, balancing yourself, balancing those emotions because you're very much in charge of the month. My lovely Pisceans, you're very much in charge of the month. You see here, you've also got the King of Swords. This is new learning. This is being in, in control of your new learning. There's new learning there. Um, there's For some of you, there's this job coming where you're going to be in uh, sort of there's going to be a team under you. There's going to be a team that you're you're in control of. You're guiding. Um, there's this promotion there for you, and I really like that. Um, for some of you, this is an Aquarius, Libra, or um, Gemini person, 
male or female that's there that is also going to be a driving force they're going to bring a lot of there's a lot of learning coming from them and that can be simply learning looking at how they live and the decisions they make and their view on life and how they um, go about learning and living and making decisions and it's about you observing that and seeing what it is you want to take from that um, because there's this opportunity to learn from this person which I really like and for some of you it's about you taking on a new study um, developing new skills there's a bit of a learning curve coming for some of you um, for some of you it's about being in control uh, taking charge of your environment taking charge of what's going on around you making decisions you've got this inner strength coming in November and I like that. I like that. Because you've also got the Princess of Pentacles. And it's about taking stock of your abundance, taking stock of your finances, taking stock of what it is you want to achieve. So it's about planning all of these things. It's about planning them and manif thinking about them. So if you've got a vision board or a, a book that you write in or just doing your affirmations, it's about doing that and planning and being very clear about what it is you want to bring in because you've got December and then you've got 2020. And so you need that clarity by January 2020. You need that clarity of what it is you want to achieve rather than being caught up in the emotions of just floating around and f flowing. For, for, for once, I'm saying to you, don't go with the flow. You really need to take stock of stock take of what you've got in your life and what you want to move, what you want to how you want to build on that, how you want to build on that. By the end of November, it's really about um, creating your affirmations of what you want to bring in, what changes you want to bring in. If it's romance, if it's it's love, it's a soulmate, um, if it's career, um, if it's lifestyle change, change of location, a change of completely, you know, doing things in a very different way, um, this is the month to do it. This is the month to do it. Wow. Wow. And your final card in the reading here is the Justice. Justice card tells me there's going to be a balancing of the scales. There's going to be a balancing of the scales. This is karmic. This is karmic. And these are the changes that are coming in for you. It's, it's universal. It's, it's source. It's these changes are coming in for you um, to create the changes that you're wanting to create that balance. The scales are going to be balanced. How have you dealt with your lessons? Have you learned what you've needed to learn? And, and the, the karmic scales are going to be balanced for you. Um, and so what's coming to you is meant to be. What is yours is meant to be. It will unfold for you. So I really like that. For some of you, it's signing of legal documents. So if you are in a le legal litigation or in courts for some reason, things will balance out. Things will work out for you. You will reach a resolution. You will reach an agreement as well by the end of November, which I like. For some of you, it's the signing of a contract. It can be the signing of a lease. It can be the signing of a partnership in a business. Um, it can be the signing of, the signing of legal papers, signing of legal documents here by the end of um, November as well for you. I want to say to you, Pisces, I really feel like there's this big shift coming. You're going to feel it in November. There's a shift coming. There's changes afoot. And that can be redecorating, moving furniture around, reshuffling things, um, moving out clutter. Um, it, it's making space. That in itself makes space for energy to come in, for energy to start moving because that's going to start happening and I really like that. And you're going to start seeing results almost immediately. You're going to start seeing results in, almost immediately, my lovely Pisceans. Really like it. What a month. I'm going to give you a card from the angel 
cards to see what support you're being given, what you need to be aware of. Um, let's see what's going on for you. My lovely Pisces, here we are. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Guardian Angel. That's, that's what you've got for the month of November. So anything you want to do, you need to speak to your guides, speak to your angels, speak to God source, whatever it is for you. Talk to your people, talk to your tribe and ask them for assistance and guidance. Unless you ask, they cannot help you. You need to ask them. They are always there by your side. So ask the angels, whatever it is for you, to come in and help you with these decisions and these changes and this prosperity that's coming your way. Because they're certainly there quite strongly in November. Let's have a look at your abundance. The angels of abundance. What do the angels of abundance have to say for you, my lovely Pisces? That's such a really lovely card. It's so calming, isn't it? The guardian angels. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Deservingness. I need to find my glasses. Deservingness. And this is the judgment card. This is justice, not the judgment card. This is the justice card. Let's see what it says. You are a beloved child of God, like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Now, doesn't that speak of the energy that's coming through for you? In the month of November it really does it's it's a divine energy coming in for you Pisceans let's have a look at your heart chakra what's going on there let's have a look oh, oh. two cards have come out and I'm going to give them to you because I love you okay so you've got blossom blossom it's about growth it's about blossoming it's about finding that inner light it's about you flourishing and november is the beginning of that the beginning of you flourishing using the divine energy the divine source so when you meditate focus on that focus on the divine source coming in and just enveloping you and nurturing you and allowing you to grow and reach your potential this is just incredible. Okay, so opportunity beckons for you. This is a month of opportunity beckoning. What do you want? What do you want to create? What are you striving for? Opportunity is knocking in November. November knocking. There you go. So that's fantastic what a wonderful wonderful reading my lovely Pisceans I wish you an absolutely prosperous adventurous joyous month of November opening the door to 2020 which is going to be absolutely fabulous so let things release anything that's no longer needed in your life to allow this new new newness to come in this new self-discovery to come through if you would like a private reading you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there that is going to be specific to you thank you so much for your support i so appreciate it see you next month my lovely pisceans